throw up I keep working to the point I throw up And if you cross me it was good to know ya Here we're about to have John Asaroff come up. Let's give John a hand. And I met John and John and I, we connected. I mean, the guy is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, really, there's no introduction that I can give that would be better than like this 60 second video clip. I'm gonna run this. All right, so we'll let's give a warm genius welcome Yay. to John Azaroff. Thank you, Steve. Hi, Steve. How you doing? Thank you, thank you. Instead of watching me on, uh, on the video, it's much better to do this live, don't you think? So how many of you are here because you want to learn how to make more money? Oh, money. Let me uh, take you on a little bit of a journey uh, of my life and where I started and how I've made some of the transitions that uh, I was able to make and, uh, and some of the stuff that I've learned. And um, hopefully it'll make a difference in your life today uh, and giving you some of the tools you need to make the dreams like Henry Ford suggested you can achieve a reality. Let me tell you a little bit about the brain and what we've learned about in the last five years alone. We used to think that, or scientists, neuroscientists used to think that our brain, we were hardwired, that we only had a certain amount of neurons and that was it for the rest of our lives, and that we really couldn't get any smarter than we were at birth. Well, that we know is absolutely false. The stuff that we've learned just in the last three, four, five years has made 98% about what we knew about our own brain obsolete, obsolete. And so some of you are working with ideas about what you're capable of or not capable of that are absolutely a lie and false. Absolutely a lie and false. The reason I chose this title called Change Your Brain, Change Your Income is because I'll prove to you unequivocally that what you believe about money on the inside, what I call the mental financial capacity, the MFC, okay, if you want to know what you believe to be true about yourself and about your earning ability, just take a look at the average income you have made the last two or three years. Period. That's what at a non-conscious level, okay, you are conditioned to see and attract. Very, very simple. And I'll show this to you. And so why does brain research interest me so much? It's because it's the most powerful tool in the universe. It's more powerful than anything else on this earth. And guess who doesn't have an owner's manual for it? The owners. And so I'll give you some ideas of, of how to use your brain better and how to start to discover how to use this so you can achieve whatever you want. Today we have SPECT scans, we have MRIs, we've got, we've got machines that can see inside the brain as we're thinking, as functions are happening in the brain. And so we can isolate what's happening in the brain, but most importantly, what they've discovered is that we can actually go back into the brain and rewire some of the neuron patterns or the neuro patterns in the brain, which I'll explain to you what that means in a minute, because it's probably the most important thing you'll hear, is that your beliefs are nothing more than a neuro pattern in the brain. And what we want to do is alter our beliefs because your beliefs cause you to perceive and behave based on what the beliefs dictate, not what you're capable of. Chemicals, hormones are released in the brain. This is all happening neurologically. This is not science fiction here. This is science. So chemicals are released in your brain that causes you to absolutely shut down and stop. It causes you to do something we call rationalize. Why? It's okay to take a week or two off. Why don't I have to work as hard anymore? If you break up that word, rationalize into two words, it causes you to tell yourself rational lies. You know that voice in the back? Of your mind that says, I can take a week off now, we're doing really well, things are moving in the right direction. Because when you use your conscious mind's ability, when you use your willpower and persistence, you're fighting an 800 pound gorilla. Now let me share with you a little bit about brain plasticity, what's possible. Brain plasticity is the neuroscience term for our brain's ability to really grow and expand. If you think about what your brain is made up of, we've got a hundred billion, with a B, a hundred billion neurons. At the end of those neurons are what we call DSPs, or dendrite spiny protuberances. When we have a new thought, a new idea, learning, these dendrite spiny protuberances connect and form what we call a neurode pattern, or a pathway, that can communicate. The more neurotransmitters that are fired down that pathway, the lower the threshold is for automatic neurofirings in the brain. That's where the automatic negative thoughts come from. 
By the time you and I were 16 or 17 year olds, guess what we heard an average of 175,000 times? No, you. Yeah. Guess how many times we heard on average, yes, you can. 5,000. That's average. These DSP connections, each one of these neurons has 10,000, 10,000 spiny protuberances on it that are capable of trillions of connections. Trillions. So we are limitless. You are limitless in what you can learn and what you can attract using just this wonderful tool that's only about three pounds, about the size of two fists put together, when you understand how to take control of it. But you can't have more unless you become more, neurologically. You have all the intelligence you need right now. You have all the intelligence, you have all the potential you need or will ever need right now. This is a thought being formed. You're forming a thought right now. That's dentrite spiny protuberances. All right, so it starts off with a single thought, gets reinforced, gets reinforced, gets reinforced, until we have a neural pathway, a connection. The only time that, that this really explodes is when we have what we call a significant emotional experience. So even though you consciously want to build your companies and make more money, guess what's going to happen? You're working against systems that are so powerful, okay, you can't get around them unless you want to do the work. Stephen talked about something earlier, and that's the process. There's a process of going back into the non-conscious and atrophying, basically getting the neurotransmitters to stop firing down the, down the neural pathway, and we can redirect your thoughts to stop, A, the automatic negative thoughts, but B, to create new software in the brain, I call these software, in the brain of how much money you can earn, what kind of relationship you can have, what kind of company you can build. All it is is neural patterns in the brain. If you take a look at this, whoop, whoop, I'm going backwards. That's what it looks like inside your brain. All these neural patterns just connecting all one with the other. We're, we've created something called the neural linking process. Where we can take some of your, your, your most emotional times of your life that have been positive and link them up with all of the new things that you want now, thereby shortcutting the system of waiting months or years to create these neural patterns. We have this thing between our ears, every single one of us, barring any psychological challenges that can do whatever we choose. If we take the software and change it, the whole picture changes. See, what you've got to understand is there is no out there. There is no out there. If you go into the quantum field world, or the quantum physics world, okay, out there only happens based on what's in here. You cannot see what's out there unless the software allows you to. Our beliefs cause the perception, and our beliefs, more importantly, cause our behavior. We're enlightened in our society with what we call, what I call a behavior-driven society. We work on behaviors as opposed to what causes all behavior. We work on behaviors because it seems like the right thing to do. What do we know about thoughts? We know, as you saw in the DSPs, that thoughts are real. They're not imagined. They're not just, just had a thought. I can't change. Thoughts are biochemical and bioelectrical. They have bioelectrical properties, biochemical properties. And guess whose they are? Yours. See, you control your thoughts. Or they control you. Now, if you have been wired to not understand how to take control of your thoughts, not, how to, not understand how to eliminate the ants, the automatic negative thoughts, you will forever, forever be at their mercy. Or you could learn how to redirect the neural pathway, create new neural pathways so that you get what we call the apts or the automatic positive thoughts. How are our beliefs formed? And now I'm ready, I'm a blow up. Yeah. I'm impatient, I don't ever slow up. I stay young, no, I never grow up. To the point I throw up And if you cross me it was good to know ya I'm impatient I don't ever slow up I stay young no I never grow up I keep working to the point I throw up And if you cross me it was good to know ya 
Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm not the type to take no for an answer. I don't deal.